podcast. It's Mike from Coltrane Harbor Laboratories DNA Learning Center. And today we're going to talk a little bit about cells. Did you know that on average, the human body has around 37.2 trillion cells in it? And if you're a little bit larger than average, you might have more cells than that. And if you're a little bit smaller than average, you might have less cells than that. And I found that to be pretty cool the first time I was learning about that, right? I was thinking to myself, oh, the only difference between myself and someone significantly larger than me is they have more cells than I do. And I found that to be pretty cool. Another thing that we think is pretty cool uh, at the DNA Learning Center is the differences between a plant cell and an animal cell. And I know that a lot of you probably know there are differences between plant cells and animal cells, but let's actually dive into what those differences are today. So I'm just going to share my screen and we're going to look at a picture of a plant cell next to a picture of an animal cell. So right here, I have an animal cell and a plant cell. And before we get too deep into the differences, let's think about the similarities. And uh, you know, the very first similarity that, that my mind is kind of going to is the mitochondria. So both plant cells and animal cells have mitochondria. And the mitochondria, they are responsible for creating a lot of energy, right? They are the powerhouse of an animal cell. And they are responsible for creating 100% of the energy in an animal cell. Now, in a plant cell, they're responsible for creating a lot of the energy or a significant portion of the energy, but not 100%. And we're going to get into why uh, they don't need to create all of the energy for a plant cell later. Now, both animal cells and plant cells have ribosomes. And ribosomes are these small organelles that are responsible for making proteins. They both have nuclei. Animal cells and plant cells both have, nucle uh, both have a nucleus. And inside of the nucleus, there's a significant portion of the DNA kind of encapsulated inside of that nucleus. Both animal cells and plant cells have endoplasmic reticulum. And in the endoplasmic reticulum, that's really just a highway for proteins, helps to ship proteins around the cell. Um, they both have cytoplasm, which is kind of the jelly-like substance that all the organelles are floating around in. They both have a Golgi apparatus. And the Golgi apparatus is really just kind of a packaging center. It helps to send proteins and, and other molecules outside of the cell. Finally, they both have vacuoles, but the vacuoles are really where we start to see our first difference. Uh, plant cells have these large central vacuoles, and these large central vacuoles can hold a significant, uh, significantly more water than the vacuoles found in an animal cell. So the plant cells' vacuoles can hold more water than those of an animal cell. The most glaring difference between a plant cell and an animal cell is the presence of a cell wall in a plant cell. The cell wall is the outermost layer of a plant cell. It is this kind of rectangular structure uh, made of cellulose that gives the plant cell its shape. It gives it all of its structure. An animal cell does not have a cell wall. Now, you might be thinking, oh, what is the outermost layer of an animal cell if they don't have a cell wall? Well, the outermost layer of an animal cell is the cell membrane. And interestingly enough, a plant cell also has a cell membrane, but that cell membrane is just found inside of the cell wall. Now, finally, the last difference that we're going to focus in on is the existence of chloroplasts inside of a plant cell. So people know that plants get energy from sunlight, right? They take energy from the sunlight and they use that energy to uh, make sugars in their cells. Now, this whole process of photosynthesis occurs inside of the chloroplasts. Now, if you'll notice, you look at the animal cell, there are no chloroplasts. So animals can't, cannot undergo photosynthesis, right? I can't just walk outside go like this, get a bunch of sunlight to hit me, and then make a bunch of sugars. It'd be really cool if I could, but I can't because I don't have chloroplasts. Right, so these are kind of the main differences between an animal cell and a plant cell. If you guys really enjoyed this video um, and want to learn more about cells, there are going to be significantly more um, videos posted on our uh, YouTube channel and our Instagram page. Our Instagram page is just DNA Learning Center on Instagram. Um, and you guys can kind of just check it out there. You'll learn a lot more about cells there. All right. Thank you.